Welcome to Ben Franklin's World, a podcast about early American history with Liz Covart. The study of history is key to understanding who we are and how we can affect a better future. Ben Franklin's World will introduce you to historical people and events that have impacted and shaped our present-day world. And now, here's your host, Liz Covart. Hello, and welcome to the pilot episode for Ben Franklin's World the podcast dedicated to helping you learn how the people and events of our early American past have shaped the present-day world we live in. My name is Liz Covart, and like you, I love history. I love learning about the people and events of our past. One of my favorite activities is to curl up with my dogs and read a good history book. I will take a good history book over a novel any day because I love knowing that the characters I read about and the events and places that are in the book actually lived and and really existed. My deep love for the past is why I've made the study of history my vocation. My real day job is being an historian of early America. And I got to tell you, it's the best job. I get to research historical questions that I find fascinating by reading history books and by working in the archives. Going into the archives is like participating in a treasure hunt. In order to find the answers I seek, I have to sort through all of the traces left behind which could be business documents, ledgers, letters, journal entries, and and other documents that have been left behind. Now, although nearly all aspects of history fascinate me, I have a strong interest in the revolutionary and early republic periods of North America, which I define as taking place between the years of 1754 and 1830, or from the French and Indian War to the presidency of Andrew Jackson. I guess I can credit my interest in early American history to my New England upbringing. I was born in Boston, and I grew up 60 miles away in New Hampshire. And like many areas, New England takes great pride in its history and educates all the students that go through its schools about its great history, which, as far as the Europeans are concerned, began in 1620 with the landings of the Pilgrims at Plymouth. New England also takes great pride in the role it played during the American Revolution. Gosh, as a kid, I must have walked Boston's Freedom Trail every year. And far from becoming bored with the story of the American Revolution, like many of my peers, I only grew more interested in it. I guess that's why I shouldn't be surprised that my interest in the past, or I guess you could call it my obsession, led me to study history in college and then to pursue and complete a PhD in early American history. It's actually funny when I think about it. When I started graduate school, I thought I'd study the history of New England. But I ended up studying New York State history. Specifically, my dissertation looked at how the people of Albany, New York, created first Dutch, then British, and finally an American identity. I came to my project through a question. I asked my advisor why so many people outside of New England thought that New York was part of the region. He told me that I might find answers by looking at the history of Albany. So during my years of research, I happened to find the answer I was looking for. Many Americans outside of the region think that New York and New England are one region because after the American Revolution, 700 to 800,000 New Englanders migrated into New York State. They moved to take advantage of the fertile farmlands they had seen during the War for Independence. With the exception of New York City and the upper uh, Hudson Valley region, much of New York State actually resembles and looks like New England. Why? Because many of the Yankees just packed up moved to the frontier, and then recreated the New England towns they left behind. Now, you could probably tell that I could talk about this for hours, and perhaps we will on a future episode. But what I'd like to do for this pilot is to tell you a little bit more about Ben Franklin's World and why I created the show. I have begun the Ben Franklin's World podcast because I want to share my passion for history with you. I truly believe that history is the key to understanding who we are and how we can affect a better future. And as such, I want to introduce you to the historical people and events that have impacted and shaped our present day world. I chose to call the show Ben Franklin's World because Franklin's spirit provides a podcast with the freedom to discuss early American history in its broadest sense. Ben Franklin was a product of the Atlantic world he lived and participated in. Even in its earliest days, the Atlantic world has always comprised the politics, economics, and culture of Europe, Africa, South America, the Caribbean, and North America. People and events in all of these places affected the way North Americans like Franklin lived, worked, dressed, worshipped, conducted business, and exercised diplomacy. 
and they have also contributed to who we are today. Now, more practically speaking, I chose to name this podcast Ben Franklin's World because nearly everyone knows who Benjamin Franklin was and when he lived. So the name really helps me advertise the rough periodization that this show will cover. Now, in each episode of Ben Franklin's World, you and I will embark on a remarkable journey through early American history. I promise you that this will not be another boring history podcast. Instead of dry lectures, we will enjoy conversations. Most episodes will feature a conversation with a guest historian who will share their insights into the people, places, and events of our early American past. Although most episodes will focus on the history of the 13 British North American colonies or the early United States, the show won't be limited to this North American geography. Some episodes will explore the people and events of 17th, 18th, and 19th century Europe, Africa, the Caribbean, and South America, because they affected the lives of our early American forebears. I am really excited about this podcast, and I hope you are too. If at any time you have questions, comments, or suggestions about possible guest historians, or about how I can improve this podcast, please reach out. You can send me an email to liz at benfranklinsworld.com or tweet me at Liz Covart. I also encourage you to check out the website for this show. There you will find more information about me, the show, our guests, and the show notes for each episode. You'll also find a sign-up where you can sign up for our Ben Franklin's World Gazette, our show newsletter that will keep you informed about all future guests, episodes, as well as any exciting historical news that I think you might like to know about. You'll find the show website at www.benfranklinsworld.com. Well, I guess that's it. We've covered a little bit about who I am, what the show is, and why I've named it Ben Franklin's World. I guess that all that remains to be done is for us to embark on our first historical adventure, which you can do by downloading any episode of Ben Franklin's World. And remember, never leave till tomorrow that which you can do today.